In our morning rounds, a prescription for living longer. CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus is out with a new book that offers simple rules for good health. A short guide to a long life is published by Simon & Schuster, division of CBS. Dr. Agus heads the Westside Cancer Center at the University of Southern California. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie and Nora. Good to have so you here. So in this, as you say, short guide to a long life, um, what's the most important thing before we talk about specifics? What's the idea that that um, is exciting. Well, the idea to me is that you're in charge of your own health. The old days, if you go to your doctor and he or she decide, hey, you need this, this, and this, those are out the window. Health is gonna change from the ground up, not the top down. We are in charge of our own health. So I wrote a book with all the tenets and the rules so you can go in empowered, go in with the information to make the right decision for your value system for you. But are these things like you know, eat well, don't eat too much, exercise daily, uh, brush your teeth, make sure you get plenty of sleep, that kind of thing? Well, it's all the data. And so yeah. many of them are relatively common. Brush your teeth. Yes, inflammation in the gum can accelerate things like heart disease. At the same time, many of them just aren't commonly talked about, but the data are there. And so I wanted to put in one place all of the data in a simple set of rules. Let's go through some of those rules. First, rules for when to eat. You say num number 41 of your rules, never skip breakfast. Listen, the data are there. I mean, you fast for 10, 12 hours a night, and you get up in the morning, and your body needs nutrients. Mm -hmm. And even more than that, your body strives for regularity. So when you eat is just as important as what you eat. So having your meals the same time every day has a remarkable effect on actually preventing diabetes and other diseases. Regular is such a good thing, not only what you eat, um, or I should say when you eat, but what you eat. And you have some real rules about what to eat. Yeah, I mean, it's not me, it's the data. And yeah. so the data show that a Mediterranean diet is the healthiest diet we can all eat. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's eating fruits and vegetables on a regular basis. It's eating good fat foods. It's knowing you're grosser. Yeah, but you say cold water fish three times a week. How do you know what's, what's a cold water fish? Salmon? Well, you got to talk to the fish and ask them, where did you live? Um, yes, is that... That's a good doctor joke, <laughs> yeah, Dr. Right. David. I, guess. <laughs> Listen, I don't have that heard many... heard like in the last... <laughs> well, I don't have many jokes, so i got to stick yeah. to them. Yeah. The, uh, uh, you know, any fish that lives in deeper water is a cold water fish. Any, you know, that lives in a stream, so trout, cod, halibut, whitefish, salmon, are all remarkable fish and have a health benefit. And the key is eat the food, not the pills. Fish oil capsules are not fish. We know fish has the benefit. Nobody has yet shown it to the pills. There are all these quick fixes, yeah. you know, that people try, especially this time of the year, a new year, cleanses and juicing, all of that stuff. What do you think? Well, first of all, what are you cleansing? <laughs> you know, a anything that tells you it's a cleanse, just throw it out. The notion yeah. of detox, whenever you want to take one thing out of the body, who knows what they're taking out? They don't work. Juicing, it's the same thing. Fruits and vegetables are remarkable. You put them in a blender and make them in a juice, they start degrading right away. You know, they did it on purpose. When you pick a fruit, it wants to degrade to put the nutrients back in the soil to make the tree grow. Mm -hmm. Eat the real food, eat what's fresh, and if you can't do it, eat what's flash frozen. A lot better than something shipped in from a different country. You also say to avoid these, of oh, course, right. which, you know, I, I, re I wear regularly. Look but I don't, these, uh, I don't, mm. <laughs> bad thing. I only, you know, I agree with you. I only wear these here and then I try and put on flats because I'm a runner. But one of the things I disagree with you in your book that I yes. have to find, you say there are no superfoods. And I live by the idea that there are superfoods. Bananas, sweet potatoes, broccoli, salmon, um, almonds. I mean, you know, there's this core group of things that you should just eat a lot of regularly. Well, I mean, superfoods imply that they do something special. All of the things you mentioned are awesome, and I love them. I just grapple a little bit with the term superfood. But yes, high heels, inflammation, not good. Inflammation, the root of disease. Mm. And listen to your body. No question about it. And on that note, um, because of inflammation, take an aspirin every day. Oh, it's remarkable data. I mean, an aspirin every day reduces the death rate of cancer, heart disease, stroke. Ask your doctor about it before you do it, but a good suggestion. All right, thanks. Dr. David Agus, thanks.